Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today, we're going to take a look at Theremin Plus from Sound Iron. History lesson time here. Now, first, the theremin. If you're unfamiliar, it was developed by Leon Theremin in the 1920s, a Soviet inventor. The instrument uses proximity sensors assigning those values to sine waves for pitch and velocity. The theremin became very popular in scores for horror films in the 1950s and then became part of the signature sound for one of my favorite composers, Gary Scheiman's score for the Destroy All Humans video game soundtrack. Now, it is no secret I'm a huge fan of Sound Iron instruments because I believe Sound Iron has a great talent for taking acoustic and electric instruments, sampling them, and then taking them so much further with their sound design talent. So I got a copy of a Theremin Plus. Couldn't wait to dig in and check it out. Library downloads as just under one gigabyte uh, it contains 106 samples, both for the contact instrument and also as unlocked wave samples. The contact version does require the full version of contact 5.5.2 or higher. The library comes with five contact instruments. You've got a Theremin Plus Classic, which gives you controls over swell, glide, vibrato, attack, sine wave. And then four other sound designed instruments, a theremin plus effects acoustic. Effects atmospheric. Effects buzzer. And effects tonal. contact instruments come with this select sub layer which adds an additional sample to play back with the theremin sample sound and that's how sound iron is able to get some just really great far out there sound design instruments from this library <laughs> library has been cleverly designed to allow you to play back with your uh, left hand on the keyboard for melody, the sustain pedal, your expression pedal can control your vibrato amount, and your mod wheel is set to your swell. Instruments uh, main panel, you've got controls for glide, vibrato, you can adjust uh, your attack and decay and release, as well as your sine waves, which can like, really change up the sound. In addition, Sound Iron has included its effects rack with uh, just a handful of presets. Let really me start to show you how far out you could take the sounds. The pros here for the instrument, it's uh, it does sound great. It's very playable. It's great that they've been able to take 
um, you know, an instrument that really didn't have a concrete set of uh, tempered pitch and create it so that you can play it very expressively on the keyboard. It does got some great sounds and of course these additional sound design instruments are really cool, pretty out there. I'm gonna probably start using some of these right away. As far as the cons go, it's kind of hard to have fault with an instrument that's only $19. If there's any cons that this is is very nit. But then again, with these sound design instruments, I think that makes it even more useful uh, for really cool experimental stuff or for composers doing underscore. If you'd like to learn more about Theremin, head over to soundiron.com. And thanks for checking out the video. I'll be sure to include links to everything that I discussed, uh, like the Theremin Origins page, as well as the uh, Destroy All Humans soundtracks from Mr. Gary Scheiman. Uh, be sure to subscribe, like, or share, and head over to samplelibraryreview.com for the latest news, demos, and reviews.